guys. <laughs> Look who's here. Dr. Liz came to visit us and she got a Pona vision on the first try. <laughs> yes. Let me, uh, let me share this to everybody. Guys, we're gonna do uh, the base pause uh, results. Hold on, wait. Yo, she is, Dr. Liz is a cat whisperer. They were immediately cool with her. Hold on, let me invite the Discord. Hold up. Yes? Oh, that's All right. So, first off, Do Dr. Lit, say hi. Hello. I have it framed just like I normally sit. Oh, so yeah, like, yeah. Right? <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, we're here. We were, we were over at, um, uh, we were doing the... The, the Reddit talk on the cat subreddit. Um, and yeah, we grabbed, I, 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 I picked up Dr. Liz from her hotel this morning and then we, uh, Snoo, don't do it. Snoo, no, 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 Snoo. Uh, we got coffee, we got Duncan. Uh, we came here, we did the Reddit talk. Um, Snoo is trying to jump up and get coffee. I don't know what she's doing, hold on. Snoo, don't do it. No. I'm saying don't do it, but I'm secretly hoping that she does. Because I don't know. Um, I need a mouse. Where is it? <laughs> Snoo, no. All right. So, um, we, got, we got good news and bad news. So, we were hoping, we were hoping that um, uh, the base pause cat DNA test would all be done today in time for uh, Dr. Liz's visit. Uh, uh, bad news is they're not all done. Good news is we got Donda's, right? So Donda's is done. So we're gonna do the reveal. We have the iPad back here. We're gonna do the reveal in a second. Um, uh, quick plug real fast. If you don't know what cat, uh, uh, base pause is, it's the world's number one largest cat genomic database. Uh, they have an at-home DNA testing kit. Everything, everything comes in the box. You can get them on Amazon. I think they're $40 off right now. They're only like $89. Uh, go check that out or you can go to basepause.com. You can get $25 off with code Francis25. Cool, cool. All right. So we tested all the cats, right? Uh, and we're going to do Donda's results. Um, and, oh wait, what does your shirt say? Oh. It says, uh, I am a veterinarian. And then it says, it's wait. It's in different languages. It's in a bunch of different languages. Yeah. Hold on, let me read the, uh, so, uh, Korean, Japanese, Korean, Japanese, Toya, hey fam, meow the most, what's going on? Uh, what is the bottom one? I don't know. I don't know. French? French? <laughs> uh, Jarex, what's up? Risner girl, what's going on fam? A multiple sneezer, what up fam? Hold on, I'll flip it around so she can read this. Chris, did you get a haircut? No, I need one. Oh. Eventually, let's go. Oh. Hey, what's up, fam? Hey, a pony mom gave uh, the. Here we go. Ready? So, I'll flip this. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Okay. Okay, ready? So let's get Donda. Uh, wanna say hi? Uh, oh, a pony mom. Thank you. Would you? Uh, OAR loves Dr. Liz and Francis and fam. Hey. Hey. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm trying to be all inclusive with my t-shirt. Yo, she just did a Reddit talk, <laughs> right? She just did the, the, the Reddit talk. It was the first time she hosted one and she edited it. Toya, remember the first time you did yours and you were like, oh my God, all the notifications. She's like, I have like over 200 notifications. Multiple sneezer, what up fam? Oh, thanks for that wholesome. Head for the hills, what up? Randy, hey, everybody's here. CJ, what's up? She has laces on her shoes. Yeah, we discovered that they, they like those. Cats have been all over it. Jazzy, we're gonna find out Donda's a half tiger, aren't we? Mmm. Mm. All right, Will so. Will the results be? Here's Donda, wait, look at Donda. <laughs> he on. doesn't care. Hold on. He hey. legit doesn't care. Look at Donda. <laughs> Donda, you excited for your results, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Here, so we'll show what this thing looks like. Okay. I was trying to do... <laughs> so we have this. So these are Donda's 
uh, results. Are those gonna be backwards? Half snow leopard, yeah. So, uh, again, if you're just uh, joining us, so it's, we did a base pause cat DNA test for all the cats, right? Uh, and, and we're about to do Donda's, Donda's reveal. Um, and I figured Dr. Liz, since she's a vet, she could do... Um, oh, they are backwards. Okay, so it's backwards, so you're just going to have to read it to them because it's backwards because it's framed. Oh, right, right. Donda's genetic report... Oh, you're a pretty gem. Hey. All right. I haven't seen this. We haven't seen any of this so far. We're about to find out all this stuff. This is Donda, by the way. <laughs> if you haven't met Donda, this is Donda. Oh, it's CJ. Thanks for the carrot. Oh. Snoo is very excited, at least, yes. <laughs> okay, so. Foxy and the phone are passed out. So I'm just gonna kind of like look over your shoulder and okay. if you just wanna tell people. So. What, what's, do you wanna start with his breed? Yes, so we have, this is, it's backward, I know, but this is split into, oh, let me put the shine off of it. It's split into a couple of different categories. Haha, <laughs> categories. Categories. <laughs> categories. Donda. So, Donda, Donda, don't you want to hear? Oh, it's running away. He's like, no, I don't want to be on Jerry Springer. Okay, so. We're going to find out Shadow's the dad. Oh, for anybody who didn't, Shadow's a boy, y'all. Shadow's a boy. He could be the dad. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so. Breed group, so breeds are not the same as color per se, so that's always kind of a misnomer. Yeah, that's what I I thought. I was under the impression that calico was and that, um, right. What's the other one? Uh, uh, tabby. Tabby. Yeah, I thought yeah. tabby was a was a breed. It's yeah. a color. So you can have a domestic short hair that is a tuxedo. You can have a domestic short hair that is a tabby. It's domestic short hair. It's not. It's not tabby, so if yeah, that makes sense. So, and they, the way they split it up is they split it up into Western breeds, Eastern breeds, uh, Persian breeds, which are entirely different, and then exotic. Um, so like the Savannah cats and stuff like that. So he- Oh, is... before you start, I'm so sorry. Some, oh, people yeah. are, some people are just getting here, they're asking what we're doing. Oh, uh, it's a, it's, uh, we did a base pause cat DNA test. Right on all the cats and Donda's just came back, so we're reading Donda's. Yeah. And Dr. Liz here is a vet, and she's visiting from New York, and she um, is doing the results for us for Donda, since so she can probably speak way better on. And I'd be, I'd just be like reading it off, and she can uh, give you way more facts. So if anybody has any questions about this, and you can also get a base pause cat DNA test for your cat right now on Amazon. It's like forty bucks off. It's only like eighty nine dollars, or you can do their website at basepause.com. All right, go ahead. Okay, so. Out of the four breed groups that they test for, um, he only falls into two. So Western and Eastern. So he has no Persian descent. So no exotic short hair, no British short hair, no Himalayan, none of that. And he has no exotic um, base anywhere. So no Bengal, no Savannah. No Siberian tiger. I know everybody's talking He's about not him. a tiger. He wait. He could be. Wait. He could wait. He could be a snow leopard though. <laughs> he still could be. Well, a... see that doesn't fall in the category. Anyway, it looks like out of everything, he is he is mostly Western. So he's three quarters Western breed cat. And of that, he is. Um, mainly a combination of like when they can't delineate between breeds in the western then he just falls into western so that's 27 percent of him which is just whatever western breed specifically though he is 25 percent maine coon i know that's huge you know why? my boy is a maine coon yes he's that huge. makes so that makes sense though right yes it's okay that he's makes sense huge. 
So So Snoo is probably not a main coon at all. Dude, she, she she petite. She's a petite coon. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's so chill. Oh, she loves you. She's so chill. She's a petite coon, no. Um, so yeah, so his size absolutely could be related to uh, Maine Coon, for sure. Especially with it being a, the biggest percentage. So yeah. Um, he has a little bit of Siberian. Hey! Um, a little bit of American short hair. The tiniest amount of ragdoll, which could also explain like why these guys are so chill, because ragdolls are usually pretty chill. Ah, uh, yes, that makes sense. Yeah, so that, so the, the main coup makes sense, and the um, Siberian. And Norwegian forest cat. He's 1% Norwegian forest cat. That's my dude. That's my boy. He big boy. That, that's my boy. That is so big. So then he's little tiny percentages of Eastern, so he has a little bit of Thai, a little bit of Peter Ball, and the tiniest bit of Beerman. And they are so rare, I have never seen any of those breeds before, so uh, I don't know where those came from. I'm supposing like long, long ago. He's such a big boy. I then love that. The other, the other term they have is poly, Let's see if we can see that, is uh, polycat. So polycat is again when they can't like sift out what it is, so he's 19%. So, um, no bigs, most animals, most people have that sort of background too, where it's just like, eh, we don't know what we are, so we just like throw it in a big pile. So it's like miscellaneous cat. Um, so yeah, so he is, he is mostly, he is mostly Western breeds and mostly Maine Coon out of that mix. So, big boy. Big boy. You hear that, Donda? Mama, you made such a big boy. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the next, he is perfectly clear for any of the gen genetic markers that would be a problem for health. Perfectly clear. So he's perfect. Yes. Oh, so so if you don't know, so base paws tests for um, I don't know how many, but they they test for they do a dental health report in this, and they also do a health trait. Uh, m markers which tell you if your cat may be genetically predisposed to um, certain diseases or whatever and Donda is clear on all of those so Donda is not genetically predisposed to mm -hmm. any of those diseases okay. and um, yes that's so cool so the other thing and you'd have to get this typed out at a vet specifically um, and we have to do that when we do like blood transfusions for example every cat has to be cross matched for that because you can cause um, an allergic reaction to blood essentially um, so based on everything they have from him they're thinking that he is type A so the same blood groups as people so ABO oh wow. yeah so he's A oh and, hey. and potentially everybody else in here is A it would be that would except be for Ollie I don't know what you are <laughs> I don't know what the bub is. Um, that would be B for bub. <laughs> B for bub, yeah. So he's likely a type of uh, blood. You should remember that. A type A blood. Yes. In case I need to know that. Yes. That is good to know. And then the oral health report, the big purple box. Snoo. Right there. So good news. Yeah. Especially with your uh, insurance. <laughs> oh, good. He is at low risk for periodontal disease, so he's got good structures for that. Uh, low tooth resorption, so that's a really nasty thing that cats can get, where their teeth basically, the, the body attacks the base of their teeth. It's bizarre, we don't know what causes it, but it basically causes cavities in their teeth and then we have to pull them. So he's, he's low risk for that, which is good. You're gonna, you're gonna be very happy about that. Oh, wait, hold on. So, uh, Kat, Kat said, I hope this doesn't come off weird, but you look like a veterinarian. You just give off this vibe that you love animals. Fun fact, this is Dr. Liz. She is a vet. Um, you can find her on, can somebody tag her, uh, her actual Reddit in the chat? And if you guys want to follow her, her name is Pakil on here. She actually just finished uh, hosting a cat talk on Reddit on, on uh, the subreddit Cats uh, every Saturday. Um, uh, she's a, a Reddit talk host too. You're gonna see her a lot. So if you want to follow her, um, she's a world of knowledge. She's 
doing the whole thing. Um, do you want to tell them? Oh, thank you, uh, Rachel. Um, uh, oh yeah. There Thanks. it is, Pick Hill. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So yeah. she's helping us. I she's, am a vet. Yeah, I'm not licensed in this state, but yeah, I am licensed in other states. She's so. helping us decipher this this test, and then hopefully after I get the. So we'll have five more tests after this. Not today. We just have Donda's right now, but she's. Um, and then this is this is amazing. So thank you again for doing this and. Um, thank you for coming and telling me that my cats are perfect and they're <laughs> Donda's perfect. <laughs> I can't I can't sign off on anybody else yet. <laughs> but can you tell me what you said before the stream that they're like Oh yeah, he, they're totally healthy. Like and I would never BS him ever. Like I just don't BS people. It's not why why BS anybody. So, uh, yeah, they they look really good. Um, Francis slight chunk She's got some potato going there. But she's also very, you know, traumatized. She was a street kitty. That sucks. So, you know, she sees food, she's like, I need it. So, yeah. Mama's on a her. diet. Yeah. Mama's on, yes, ready. I'll see Jay, thanks for the Bravo. She's right there. Mama. Mama, Mama you want to say hi? Mama. Mama, you want to say hi? Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Until you get your report in. You made some good kids. You made mama. Wait, so that's crazy. If mama made that, if mama made that, so, but the, okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, um, uh, cats can have, do you want to explain this? How they can have like multiple. Yeah, so, so the way that cats come into heat is not the same as, as dogs, for example. So, um, if she's, if she's ready and she's outside, then any intact male can be like, oh, hey, what's up? And then they can become acquainted. And then that can be a father. But it's not necessarily for all of the, the litter that's, that, that she could be carrying. So they can, they can sometimes have little extra bits of other people or other cats in there. So other, other fathers. So basically I have, I have four, four kittens and they could theoretically have four different fathers. I mean, it'd be interesting because Donna does not look like the twins. That's why I was saying, like, they could be a, that, that. So that could be a separate, yeah, it, it could, technically, you know, yeah. Eh? So the only thing you have to worry about with him. Oh no. Is his bad breath. Oh. <laughs> well, I smell it every morning because he comes and jumps on my, just this morning. He likes to wake me up by jumping on my chest and making biscuits straight through the, like, claws me, right? And then, um, and then licks my uh, eyelids. He's he just seasoning the, the he biscuits. Likes the yeah, he's just seasoning the he's biscuits. Seasoning the biscuits. Um, so I think what they're what they're saying with bad breath is some some animals may have more tartar buildup on their teeth, um, and that can be because their saliva doesn't do a good enough job to break that stuff down before it adheres to the teeth. Um, so, like, people, this happens in people too. People can have, like, really, like, not good saliva, and then it just doesn't break down the extra tartar that you get built up. So then you get plaque, essentially, and right. tartar build up. And um, so, you know, a little bit of kibble can help keep that, or, you know, the greenies that you've been doing that can help. Oh, yes. Keep they that. love greenies. So, yeah. So it looks good. It looks really good. Yes. And then it's cool. They have a, they have a whole thing. I know this is backward, but. Um, just so you guys can kind of see what the report looks like. Um, they have a whole thing about the breakdown of breeds in history, which is kind of cool. So you can take what they tell you your cat is and then look through, um, you know, the background of it. Oh, that's super cool. It's like a short version because holy cow, like cat history is sure. crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, and then it kind of goes into a little bit more with the breed analysis. Hard to see analysis specifically so it talks about that he's zero persian guys zero exotic you can't see it but i this might be a misprint they, they probably meant they probably forgot uh like a, a one and a zero he's 100 percent exotic <laughs> they probably just forgot what domestic polycat what's a polycat again so the polycat is just like we don't know oh there, it's there's like, like some weird genes that we the, can't sift out so we're just like meh. the jambalaya of it yeah. all yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Soup. Yep. Soup. soup. Cat soup. Cat soup. Not ketchup. No. Cat soup. Catch. <laughs> yeah. And then... Oh, they have a bubble thing. Yeah, that's Yeah, really cool. they have like a bubble thing. Um, 
to get the glare off of it. Okay. Yeah. So this is really cool. So so uh, I'm I'll probably like I'll do a video. I'll break this down to more. Um, uh, and it, like if you want to get more in depth, I'll screenshot and put stuff in the Discord too. But um, oh, yeah. again, this is base pause cat DNA test uh, and. Um, Base Pause was cool enough to send us all these out for free, and we we did some giveaways too. Uh, actually, uh, I think Tenger Rose and Hills and who else uh, should be having their, um, they sent their results out. That's super cool. Uh, you get it back in four to six weeks. It's so simple. You get this little swab thingy and you just like swab their mouth. Uh, you go to basepause.com slash register. You put the number in and then you mail it back out in the box that it came in. And, um, Again, it's the world's largest cat genomic database, and they uh, it's an at-home testing kit for, uh, for your cat. So if you wanna learn uh, about your cat like this, it's only, at, they have a $40 off coupon right now on Amazon. Just go type, search Base Paws, B-A-S-E-P-A-W-S, -E and then uh, there's a clickable coupon for 40 bucks off if you wanna get it. Yes, hi, mama. <laughs> Do you wanna say hi? Hi. Is that it? No, so the cool thing is they have a rundown of all the breeds, so you can read up specifically. I don't know if you can see Ooh, that. there it is, yeah. Of all the breeds. And so, to me, what this is saying is that if you have a certain percentage in the breakdown that's higher than the other ones, then you can look to these specific breeds and like get a little bit more information. So the cool thing is, this tells you like average weight, which you can use to kind of stay ah. on top of it. So like the average weight of a male Maine Coon is between 12 to 15. So he may- He's under. But he may- Oh, he's oh, he like a he's bigger. He's still a baby. He's when, still kind of a baby. When do cats stop growing like on average? 12 months. Okay. Yeah. Guys, they turn one year old August 27th. Yeah, so you got a little bit of time. He may, he may get a little bit bigger. Um, but that's their average weight. Yes. So, you know, like if, that, if he's 25% Maine Coon, like he's gonna be a little bit heavier than say like a Burmese or something. Heard, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, so the cool thing is that you can just kind of go through um, the different the different kinds of uh, breeds and read up on the specifics. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, so you that should cat's ears are huge. What is yeah. that? <laughs> that's an Orient. Oh my god. Yeah, they have giant. They look like um, they're like antenna. But they look like uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Those little um. Safari cats that like uh, oh. what am I? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they almost like stand up. The 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 desert. Yeah. Yeah. The de oh, the meerkats. You meerkats. Mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's a there's a, a desert cat that has huge saucer ears. Do they run on two feet? Am I thinking? Something? No. I'm no, thinking a lizard. A I'm thinking oh. one of those lizards that I, I <laughs> totally I just put a cat and a lizard together in my head for some reason. I was. Um, uh, hold on, uh, so cool. Thank you for the, the recording and these. I just got, I just got mine in the mail to test my cats too. Looking forward to trying and swab Sharp's mouth. Any recommendations on how to make it easy on him or me? Yeah, um, uh, cryptic, cryptid. Uh, so we did all six, right? And I tell you, I, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to, uh, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to, I think it's the cat because like some of them were just like, they just loved it and they were all about it. And then Foxy, we actually had to re-swab because he like, I don't know, it, it didn't get a good result. However, I, I'll tell you this about base paws, they're super cool. So Foxy's came back, um, we messed it up, I messed it up, uh, and they emailed me and they were like, all right, we're gonna rush out a new one free of charge uh, so you can retest him and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if, if by chance you get a bad result, right? Don't worry, you didn't waste your money, they're gonna, um, they're gonna send you a replacement and then you'll just be able to retest. So um, uh, my best th my best recommendation is just try to get it inside their inner their cheek, right, and swap around for like ten seconds. Um, make sure you get a good sample though, um, and then try not to get it on the outside of his cheek at all. Try not to touch anything else. Don't touch it with your hands. Like literally, take it out of the bag, swab him, uh, and then put it in the solution and shake it. Um, a cat on two feet. I'm telling you, I saw it. You're either thinking of a fennec fox or a caracal. Yeah, caracals. Yeah. A caracal. What's a caracal? Yeah, caracals. That's um. They're uh, they're. He doesn't have any exotic cats. He doesn't have any caracals. According to the test. <laughs> Look. <laughs> 
so so it's interesting because like then they go into the different they go into the different uh, health risks potentials and this is this is all still very new and they're trying to understand how this how this can work same thing with people and genetic testing um, so you're not necessarily a hundred percent in the clear with a lot of this stuff but it's just more of a propensity so like if you have a rag doll rag dolls do have genetic potential to have heart disease it's just it's unfortunate so um, you have to think about that so kind of the same thing with these like it's not it's not a hundred percent like if you have a rag doll it doesn't mean they're gonna have heart disease it's just something to keep in the back of your mind that type of thing so same with these results like um, skin disorders you know he doesn't have a high risk for that um, right we should note that that this is this is not a def like it's it's, it, it'll, it'll, it can point you in the right direction, right. but they're, they, they're not going to tell you exactly what your cat is, right, because of what they said, that, what's the, the pat, pa, pario cat, what, are, what was the cat? It's like the mix of... Oh, poly cat. Poly cat, like there's, there, cats have been crossbred and bred and so much domesticated and all that stuff that there's really, you're, it's, it's hard to like really get the absolutes on those. Um, yeah, uh, like this type of genetic testing is not is nowhere near 100 percent yeah. for for anything so you, you don't like take it to the bank so to speak yeah um but it can give you a little bit of peace of mind have... and and being able to like you know the the health risks things that, that's good because if they yeah. if any of those were red then i could take that to my vet and i could say like you know is this something we should be prepared for or look out right, for right. Or keep eye on and right but then like rec realize that like if his risk for kidney disease is low based on this yeah still doesn't mean that doesn't he, exactly he couldn't he could be exposed to something in the future that could cause it exactly so, you know it's it's not like a guarantee of anything yeah. so for me i like the fun of it all yeah because yeah. Uh, i'm excited to see how much because they can really vary i imagine that like all of their tests are going to look very different yeah yeah i would say so that's crazy i wonder what mama is yeah I wonder what mama is really and they could have they could be like stuff that mama isn't at all right um they would have some of her genes but and maybe snoo might have more because she's all x chromosome um yeah it's kind of hard to say i hope he said oh my god this is so, so exciting what do i do with my hands <laughs> what is that quote that's from uh uh that's from wait wait that's from talladega nights oh right, right. <laughs> what do i do I uh, do really, I really like. Uh... <laughs> so the last page is some really good advice. I know it's backward, but basically talk to your vet, good nutrition, you know, things like that. So just don't use this report as a way to not see your vet. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. This is not a. <laughs> yeah. Like. This is, this is, it's always good to have information in your base arsenal, but like you can't rely on just one thing. So, so that is it. That is the story of Donda. Thank you. That's amazing. I couldn't, I couldn't think of a, I cannot think of a better way to have done. You did that way better than I ever could have. It was very fun, productive that she, she did a Reddit talk. Now she did this. Yep. Uh, do you want to tell them what your thing is, or do you want to wait till you? I'm I'm working on a website, um, and I'm hoping to get it rolled out here in the next month or two, roughly. Um, but yeah, eventually I'd like it so that people can come to me and we can have you know discussions about topics that people are concerned about. Um, I can kind of give some insight into things i can't do diagnoses of course i can't you know say like anything definitive about your you know cat exactly but i can always kind of point you in the right direction and, and give you ideas because there's a lot of information out there um we get overwhelmed as vets <laughs> can't even imagine what the general population feels when they see this stuff so um i just like to help people out and give them all the the right information Soon she's gonna have a, a link tree of her own with all the yes. things. I was telling her how everything is link trees now. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yes, so the link uh, tree of it all. The link tree of it all. So so, um, Dr. Liz, thank you again. Uh, does your does the DNA test tell you the cat's pronouns? <laughs> uh, I think. Hmm, that is a good question. So I, we can't ask them. <laughs> 
and it's not always about what's down here, so <laughs> that's uh, a tough question. Dr. Liz, you're so generous with information. You're amazing for all you do. Thank you. Jazzy. Oh, oh you're welcome. Um, well, all right, guys. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to go share the good news with Amazon. Yeah. Amazon Live. Oh, good. I thought it froze. Oh. Uh, oh, that was good. Uh, found out the other day uh, that Dawn soap works great to get rid of fleas on dogs. Doesn't it do on cats, too? Uh, I, I just heard somebody say they were using it. So, for... yeah, if, if, if an animal has any kind of severe, um, like, infect, infestation like that, or if they... Um, if they've been exposed to chemicals and things like that, that is a good option to use, but it's not something that you use regularly because it, it's not doing anything long-term. It just gets them clean. So it's good to get them clean, but then you have to get prevention to, to keep it from happening again. Uh, do you want to spend five minutes and answer questions? Yeah, sure. All right, guys. Uh, so again, uh, I mean, I am. Dr. Liz is a vet in all of the languages. <laughs> uh, if anybody can figure out what these other languages are, by the way, hold on. So wait, what's this? That's English. What's that? You said you knew one of them. Well, this is German. German. And then does anybody know what think, these are? Uh, Japanese, I think. Korean. Uh, but if anybody has a question for Dr. Liz, she's a vet. Again, she can't give you any, like, professional advice. You should seek the advice of your vet. But, like, she can point you in the right direction or answer something generic. Or, yeah. um, I just love what you do, by the way. I was telling her... I was telling her how she needs to get on TikTok and just do the question answer thing and just like be like, I'm a vet, ask, ask me questions. And then just do like that guy Frank does and just like answer questions. Do nothing but like don't, don't make videos except answering comment questions. <laughs> that would be like the whole thing. Korean and Chinese. Oh, yeah. I figured one of them was. Okay. Chi like, I, I don't know. What, yeah. That's so cool. Uh, last. Last is French. Wait, the last one's French? Oh, okay. That's Venerier. <laughs> that one? That's Venerier. Oh, I thought that was actually... Okay, that's cool. That, 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 Oh, yeah, it does kind of sound French now. Here, Allison. Um, any tips on how to make a puppy stop biting? So, lots of chew toys. That's what I always tell clients. Just give them lots of chew toys and redirect them if they start biting you. You never want to do negative reinforcement like smacking or spraying or anything like that. You always want to redirect them and be like, look at this awesome toy you can chew instead of my hand or instead of my shoe or, you know, cord or whatever. Um, you can also, for your cords, I used to use this with my rabbits. Um, there's this really awesome plastic corrugated stuff that you can get that's hollow and it's usually split down one side uh, you know like a hot dog bun and uh, and you can just put that over your cords so I mean if they chew that they're not at least going to get to your cords but that would be another uh, thing to try um groundhog asked I have a stray cat uh that I feed and she brought me a dead squirrel what's up with that you are very special she yeah they, they that's lucky you yeah I mean that does mean that they they're trying to what, they're trying to feed you? They're trying to, like, return the favor almost? Yeah, like, you are cat. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, thanks for, thanks for looking out for me and feeding me. I got you one, too. Here you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. I've heard, I've heard <laughs> stories of, like, people that uh, uh, find, like, like, mice and stuff in their bed from their cat. Yeah. And it's their way of saying, like, hey, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Kiki. I just got some grad portraits taken. That's what's up. Um, awesome. That yeah, stuff... Yeah. That stuff for your cords is called loom. I used to use it with my rabbits too. Loom? Oh. What's that? Like something you put on cords so they don't... Well, I'm not... Um, there's... You can get like a... You're talking about the rubber? Bitter apple, which is like a paste or something. Oh, Snoo was literally just chewing on this before the stream. Yeah, yeah. And um, she doesn't always do it. I don't know why this one particularly. I, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I don't remember the brand that I got that was like the corrugated stuff. Um, but people sometimes will have luck with the bitter apple tasting stuff. I never did. I, it was like adding spice to it. They were just like, mm, it's even better when I chew it. So it didn't really help me, but some people. Oh, instead of putting the plastic thing on, you're just deterring them with bad taste. That makes sense. Yeah, but it doesn't work for some. They're just like, oh, this is even more delicious. I was going to say, know? it might just like <laughs> seasoning. <laughs> Seasoning. Yeah, seasoning. Yeah, totally. Like, herbal. Wait, hold on. Can we do... 
Oh, you, you were doing a Pona Vision when we started. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys see that? She got a Pona Vision on the first try. <laughs> just goes to show you. Here, you can pick them up. Just like, oh. Yeah, bear. Yeah. We got this. Ready? Okay. We got this. Transfer. Transfer. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, bear. <laughs> goes right to bed. I love the, I love the way it, like after you move him and he just like licks his lips and just like goes yeah. back to sleep. Bear is so perfect. Uh but so you don't think bear's overweight at all, do you? No. No, he feels good. The funny thing is guys, I don't know if I told you this. Uh, I think we, we we dropped it in the Discord, but um, both Epona and Foxy are the same weight. So the twins weigh the same. And it's funny because they don't look like you would think Foxy is smaller. I think it's, it's like distribution. He's longer. Yeah. And he's like a, like, it's like Oliver. Like Oliver is like yeah. be it, beefy, but he's like. It's like that optical illusion where you have two different size glasses, but like the same amount of liquid in it. But you think that one glass has more and the other one has less. Yeah. It's just the distribution. Um, Epona has like a bigger head, I think. Foxy is smaller. Can't wait to find out what kind of uh, cat bear is. What is <laughs> isn't he? He's part bear. He's part grizzly. He is part bear. <laughs> um, my crazy cats have taken to walking on the banister and have fallen to the basement at least three times, about 10 feet. They're unharmed, but scare the crap out of me. Should I deter them from doing so? Yes. That was literally my worst fear. We got, we got the floating stairs things because the floating stairs, but they're falling off the side, Kiki? Like off the banister, that's, that's off like the... Yeah. How do you get them away from that? Wasn't that one of your concerns when, before I mean, you got them? Remember we were like thinking about how to like kitten proof the house? Oh yeah, CJ, bear head for you. <laughs> bear head. All right, so that's five times it goes. He's perfect. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of doing this, but sometimes just to kind of get them to break a habit, uh, double sided tape can help. Yeah, how would you keep them away from banisters? I, mean, double, just I think like double sided they're... tape. Uh. Yeah, just they put their paws on it and be like unhappy. They fall and then they immediately sh 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 back up the stairs. Should I put a gymnastic mat at the bottom? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Then I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> if it's like a slide to them and they're crazy, then yes. Yeah, I um Oh yeah, there's those interlocking foam mats that they get for kids. I've seen people use that for their pets too. I actually uh well, mama, so Oliver fell day 1 at Trish's. Mama fell. And then one of the kittens fell in it, which one, um, but like all of them were fine and they hit like stairs sideways coming down the, so I don't know what it is, what is it about, they just don't ever not land on there, is there a scientific reason for that? They just have really good coordination. They like rebalance yeah. themselves in the air, it's like yeah. Spider-Man. They are immune to double-sided tape, they just chew on it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you need more toys. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Your living room needs to be nothing but toys. Get them a ball pit, totally. Yeah, a ball pit. <laughs> All right, guys. Guys, we're gonna go uh, hit the studio and do a little reveal. Yes, Dr. Liz, she's on fire today. <laughs> I feel bad, I'm putting her like, she's just like, like catting around the clock today. He's so happy. He is a flop. That he's makes hot. me. That <laughs> makes me feel good that he's not. It's not just me. He is a little heater. What do you mean? He's really warm. Yeah, like how do you not overheat with all of them on you? <laughs> oh really? Yeah. I never noticed how warm he was. Yeah. I just figured because he was like super furry. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, oh, you guys are the best. Seriously, love you guys. It was a fun day. See you later. Thanks. Yeah. So hey, hey, I'm sorry.
Rachel Moult, love you. CJ, Randy, Kiki. All right, guys. Thank you again. Oh, if you want, listen, Basepaws, cat DNA test. You can save $25 on one if you go to basepaws.com and just use our code FRANCIS25. But right now, there's a $40 off sale on Amazon. You just do that. Uh, go to Amazon um, and just search Basepaws and you can get the test for 40 bucks off right now. There's a clickable coupon there. Um, and you can get two. And if you're in our Discord, let us know the results. Dr. Liz, you have inspired me. I will literally come to Chris's house. <laughs> Kiki, you can come. Um, uh, cryptid, thank you. Multiple sneezer. See you on Amazon. Yay. Love you guys. <laughs> Later, guys.